Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I have a small but worthy haul for you today. It is by far my best jewelry haul to date. I can't wait to show you what I picked up at this garage sale uh, Saturday. So with, uh, without further ado, if you are new here, I would love to welcome you to come down and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you enjoy videos about flipping things to make money online, whether from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, uh, to make money on eBay, then this is definitely the channel for you. Uh, I support myself, my kids. I homeschool my kids uh, by doing this, and I make videos sharing you the things that I pick up. It's not always jewelry. Sometimes it's hard goods, and we're branching out into other things uh, now that I've got a business partner, too, um, which we'll talk about more later because I do have a partner in crime now. Um, but we'll talk more about that. Let's jump into what we're here for today. And I am live. I'm monitoring the, I, I have I've been having issues with my Wi-Fi, so I am monitoring that, making sure like I can do anything about it if it messes up, but watching that. Um, so I am live. Say hey in the chat, everybody, if you're here. And if you're watching later, leave a comment. <clears throat> okay. So here's what happened. We went out garage sailing and Garage selling here in Austin is a little bit different than when I was in Houston. In Houston, most of the places I could just drive around and because most neighborhoods, you can just have garage sales whenever. Here, if it's not a community garage sale, you kind of have to travel to, to go to garage sales. So we went to a garage sale and they had a lot of really vin cool vintage stuff. And the lady also had jewelry. My strategy when I go to garage sales is I tend to go to where the... Um, Grownups are first, where they wherever they have their base, you know, where they set up where they the pay station where they're gonna pay. Because usually at garage sales, they'll put the more valuable stuff next to themselves. This is, you know, there could be other valuable stuff that they just don't know about, but this is what I do. I go to the the people and then I work my way out from there. <coughs> I swallowed wrong. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm too excited. So I went and I shared this on my Instagram and on my Facebook, so you may have already seen it, but I'm going to show you the other stuff I got too, because I got some equally fantastic things while we were there. So I am going to take, pull down to the treasure cam, treasure cam. Here we go. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the item that I paid the most for, and then I'll work back from there. How about that? And the item I paid the most for may not be the item you're expecting to see first. So the item I paid the most for was this bracelet and it is a silver it isn't it's not marked so i've got to, to test it and see if it's sterling or not i'm kind of i mean part of me says it's plated but then part of me, like the yellowy part in there is like mm, i don't know but then when sterling gets really old it gets that kind of like bluey color so i just have to test it but it definitely has some some turquoise stones set into it it looks old so I'm going to have to test that out. I paid, <clears throat> I paid up for this one. I paid $20 for this bracelet uh, because I know that silver and turquoise can sell. How is that? Is it blurry for y'all? Let me see if I can. There we go. Uh, so I did pay up for this cuff, 20 bucks on this. And again, I couldn't find any marks. I'll have to go over it a little more carefully. But even that being said, after I test it, if it ends up being sterling and turquoise then likely i'll list it for at least 100 bucks you know probably between i say 75 to 125 maybe more depending on i haven't done any research on it yet so i was okay with spending the money for that the, the way this garage sale was it was and now i kind of wish i'd looked at some of the other jewelry a little more closely um there were some things like this that were priced high or, or high for garage sale but worth it um, and then there were things like, um, like this, I was going to go in order of cheapest or highest price, but I didn't, this bracelet caught my eye, um, firstly, because I love these type of bracelets that have the hidden, you know, their safety, kind of like a safety bracelet. Um, but then I could see that there were marks here, which I'll pull up my other camera that gets closer, closer to show you the marks on it. Oh, and there's more marks there. I didn't even check those out. Let me hold it up. So y'all can see it in the big camera. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I look, I lost a nail somewhere. Um, I knew like, oh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be gold, if not gold plate. Um, 
So got that. I, I have to lick my suction cup. <laughs> that sounds like a, a kink term, but maybe it is for all I know. Um, but when we're going to get our micro our microscope, our super close microscope going. Guess how much I paid for this one. Guess, guess, guess. Um, so, oh, y'all, some of y'all saw the ring. I'm looking in there. Alexis, like, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. All right, so guess what I paid for this bracelet. While we, I'm going to switch over to the microscope camera so we can look at the marks. I want to show you the marks. We're going to switch cameras, select camera. Here we go. Moving over to the microscope so we can really, really dive in. And the price I paid for this beauty, let me get the mark. So there's the mark there. You can see PS 14K 1921. I, they, I didn't even see these until just now, these marks here. The marks I was looking at were, let's see if I can get it on here. Where'd they go? See if I can make it happen. I may have to move my microscope a little bit. Oh, is it going to focus for me? Let's see. Can we make it focus? There it is. There it is. So there, that's the mark I saw. PS 14, 1921. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that one. <clears throat> and the price I paid for it. Hang on. Let's see if anybody got it. You were closest, Lexi. I paid 50 cents. And I asked the lady, I was like, how much do you, this one didn't have a price on it. I was like, how much for this bangle? Of course, I'm not saying how much for this gold bracelet. I'm like, how much for this bangle? How much is that? And she goes, mm, give me 50 cents for it. So I said, okay, I give you 50 cents for it. Um, so I paid 50 cents for that. I haven't done, again, I haven't done the research on this one because I was so excited about one that's coming up here in a second. Um, but this is one I might keep because I love bracelets like this. I probably have four maybe of these that are like this with that are silver and and or gold um i just love them and so i might i might keep it i might sell it i'm not sure right booyah right crack and reseller <laughs> you're close right well 10 bucks i mean yeah let's see hey 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 i didn't say hey to everybody hi everybody okay so that was a really good i was i was happy at that point i was like okay cool i'll pay 50 cents for that I had my sterling with the turquoise. I had the, um, my, my microscope keeps wanting to pop off and I'm not licking that suction cup again. Once was enough. You got to pay after that. Okay. <laughs> the next thing that I picked up there, um, was a charm bracelet, which I will pull down under the camera to show you the different charms. It's not a James Avery, but that's okay. It's still got some nice charms. I'm switching my camera over to just my regular treasure cam. Oh, wrong one. It's double, double me. Hang on. Wrong camera. Can y'all hear Ruby? She's having a fit. <laughs> she's having a mini fit that she's not out and about. Okay. So next one is this. Let me zoom it in so you can see the different charms and we're going to make it focus too, because that's always good. So it was a nice, just little charm bracelet, sterling silver, 925. It had a 2001 charm on it, like so. Um, and guess how much I paid for this one. So there you can see it's 925. Not, I mean, it doesn't always have to be James Avery, but I mean, it helps. There's a little musical note, little piece dove. Again, all marked with sterling. This is my favorite one on here is the little dragon. Look at that, the dragon on there. I love it. I'm tempted to put it on my charm bracelet. Again, another sterling. This one is, what is this? An, is this a, an oboe? Is this clarinet? Help me, help me. And then we've got an Easter egg. So looking at that, I'm gonna double check. Oh wait, there is a mark on the back of that one for, it looks like a sun. I'll have to do a little digging on that one. Cause I know James Avery has an Easter egg as well, but I don't think that's it. Gosh, my, my other camera keeps popping off. Okay, so this one, I paid uh, five dollars for, so I paid five bucks for that, which I thought was fair on the charm bracelet. Loved it, uh, and then I also paid five dollars for this one, which you kind of saw. I'll pop this one back over here again, <clears throat> and this one is um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like gold plated. It's nine two five. I mean, not nine two five, but one. Oh. 
I have to look at it with the loop again. But it's um, gold filled. That's what I'm trying to, the word I'm trying to find. Gold filled. Where did it go? It is 1 uh gold filled. So, and that one, <clears throat> the marking wasn't on the spring ring. It was on the next little jump ring on it right there. So it was on this little one. So if you are ever like, um, just looking at the spring ring for your jewelry mark. Sometimes it's on another ring in there. Just like my, my bracelet here. I was like, cause this one is a, a Tiffany bracelet. And so the marking is not on the, the lobster class or even on e either of those. It's on like way over here on one of the rings. So it's important to check, you know, cause I, I earlier on, I mistakenly just only checked like right around the, the lobster class for the rings but this one, it's like almost completely opposite of where the, the ring is on one of the links. Let's see if it catches up. Then definitely, there we go. Okay. Um, definitely double check on the other rings as well. Oh, I'm freezing up. Okay. Hang on. Let me see if I... Alexa broadcast. Kids, can What's you pause? Kids, pause your game right now. I'm I'm going live. Okay. Sorry if you're. <laughs> Shh. Kids, pause your game right now. I'm I'm going live. <laughs> All right. They are they're playing a video game, so I think they're they're streaming as well. Oh, Diane, thank you so much uh, for becoming a member of the channel. You know what? I I just oh, and I got a present today from. Oh, do I not have my thing here? Where do I? I'm, oh, my stickers are gone. My stickers. No, they're not. There they are. Okay. I was like, no, I have to have my stickers. I got a pillow today with, with our favorite gal, Dolly, um, from my bow. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming a member, member of the channel. Thank you. Okay. So <clears throat> the next thing I got, and this was not even the Okay, this one I technically got at a different garage sale, but I got these sterling silver hoop earrings, also for 50 cents. Okay, now for the piece de resistance. This piece, I at the same garage sale that I got the, the turquoise and the other bangle, um, I walked over, you know, she had rings out, and I just, I saw this ring, and I was like, I really think um, I want this ring. <laughs> so this is the ring. And you guys know, like, I have a gem testing kit and a gold, silver, like, um, like an acid testing kit so you can test at home. And uh, I have links for that in the description box below. But I, I saw this ring and I was like, this is really pretty. And it, honestly, at the time when I saw it, I thought it was just like a, a cocktail ring. Kind of like, I looked old. I thought, well, maybe this is just like a, a cocktail ring, right? Um, costume jewelry. And so I was like, I really like this. And I'm not sitting there like inspecting with a loop or anything like that at a garage sale. So I said, well, how much do you want for this? And she said, um, eight bucks, right? I had a little tag, eight bucks. So paid the eight bucks, went home and then really started looking at it. And then as I was inspecting it at home, I saw that it was marked platinum over here. Now I was still wasn't, let me make the ring bigger for you. I still wasn't convinced, right? Because I hadn't tested it. We all know stamps are cheap. Uh, and then like the, it wasn't evenly stamped, you know? So that was like, for me, I was like, mm, red flag, you know, the M is not even on there, right? It's platinum, you know? And then there was lots of little scratches and dings. So I thought, no way. Okay. Just probably custom jewelry. And then as you can see, like one of the stones is darker. So I just, yeah. So I, I, when I got home, I took out my my acid testing kit and tested the metal and it did end up testing out to be platinum. So then I pulled out my diamond tester, not my presidium. I, I have to replace my presidium one. I don't know. It's being weird, but I have this other diamond tester called diamond selector too, like so. And then, so what you'll do with this is you turn it on and, and here's the deal though, even though I tested it and it tested positive for, um, let me leave it like that for platinum. And even though I tested it with this, um, Juan had a friend or has a friend that, uh, is a jeweler. And so he's like, let's take it over tonight and get it uh, looked at. Okay. So now that the 
Is the ready light on? Yeah, now I got the ready light on. So I had my diamond tester, and basically you just take it, make, let's make this big, and you just press it on the stones, and then it'll, you know what, let me do it with the camera down so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you'll take it like so, and you'll press it flat to the stone, and then it'll go like all the way up. Here, let me do it. I can't fit it all on there right now, like so. Um, so they were all testing out as diamonds. And so he was like, hey, let's take it over to my friend that is the jeweler and he can take it. He can test it for us and talk to us about it. And y'all, I just wanted to sit there with his jeweler friend and pick his brain because he was so knowledgeable. He'd been doing, he's been in the industry for 30 or 40 years. And he was able to tell me based on the cut of the stones, he was like, based on the cut of the stones, cause they're like old, old cut stones. He's like, it's cause I was thinking, Oh, it's, it looks like maybe art deco. He's like, no, no, no. It's earlier than that. He said, based on the cut of the stones, you're looking more at like turn of the century, like 1900s. I know I was like, what? Uh, and then he was able to, to talk to me about like the quality of the stones. Like this one is the lowest qual. My fingers trembling. And like this one, he said, this one at the top up here was like a really super high quality. He was showing me like the, there was like a quality chart and he was showing me like how to use a really powerful loop to look at all the inclusions and how these, he was able to show me like these two stones and the inclusion. I was just like, I just wanted to sit there, <clears throat> sit there with him and just pick his brain. So um, yeah, right. Old European cut. So, and he, you know, so we were asking him, well, does it, do you think, you know, that one was replaced because the others are not quite as high quality? He's like, no, they all, he said, unless they got a stone that was from the era, because he said they don't really cut them like that anymore. So anyway, that is the ring. So he said that based on that and depending on the market value, it could go anywhere between three and $5,000. So I was pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, so as you guys know, a while back, I got this ring, this ruby, um, and I think it's in white gold. I'll have to double check it. And so I'm going to take this one over to him and get him to look at it. I said, oh, I've got another ring. This one I got, not at garage sales, but this one I got, I think in a, a thread up um, jewelry box. So uh, I'm probably just going to keep this ring. You know, the more we talked about it at first, I thought, well, yeah, we were talking about selling it. And then we discussed, well, I don't really like, we're not like hurting for the cash right now. So maybe just hanging on to it and having it kind of like as a kind of a nest egg, right? Or I don't know. Anyway, so definitely going to keep it. And at the moment, still planning on keeping the ruby. I've had a few people send me offers for, for this one because they think it might be a Burmese ruby. But like I said, I'm going to take it over to, to um, our friend, my new friend who I want to take out to dinner and, and pick his brain about jewelry and stones and all that fun stuff. So that being said, that was my fantastic jewelry find. And yeah, you say keep it as an engagement ring. Let's see how it looks. Hmm. And you know what? <laughs> it fits the right finger too. It's a little bit loose, a little bit loose, but yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, I will love it. And let's see. I, I'm really, yeah, it's one of those things that I'm hoping it's not a once in a lifetime find, but um, it might be. It's one of those like I, I, the, the biggest sale I ever had before this and not that I'm selling it was like 400 bucks, you know, so that to me was like, the be all end all. So I was really, really happy to find this. And, um, yeah, well, and that's the, thing. I, I did get people asking questions about like, well, shouldn't you offer the person the money or I'll take it back to them or, and I get that. I get both, both sides of it. They sold it for what they wanted to sell it for. I get that point. And I do get the point of like, well, maybe they didn't know what they were selling. Um, and some people, yeah, tell them, but that's the thing too, is like, I don't know where they live. I don't know who they were. I don't know. Cause the way we garage sell, it's not like I have a list of addresses and writing down where the house was that I bought things from. So even if I wanted to, I would have no way of going back to the garage sale and telling the person like, oh, I have this ring. I think you may want it back 
or anything like that. So I don't know. Um, I mean, I get that point because maybe they didn't know. And I get the point of like, well, you paid them what they asked for it. I see both sides. So anyway, um, thank you so much for hanging out, you guys. And again, uh, I haven't decided on selling the bangle yet or not, because like I said, this is like one of my favorite styles of bracelet with the safety like that, or the say like things with safety chains, safety clasps. I just love, I love, love, love them. And I'm looking at the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Most likely if you do go back, they're just going to sell. You know, I do, I do normally film, but the last two times we went out, I didn't film. Uh, one time was because it was too cold and I had like all these bulky sweaters on. And then this time I didn't film because I couldn't find my harness for my GoPro. So I didn't even film. Um, this last weekend, the last two times we went out. So I know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So anyway, if you aren't following yet or subscribed yet, I'd love to have you and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and keep, uh, keep an eye out. I've got some, some great garage sale hauls coming up from different things we found uh, while we were out garage sailing. And I've had a lot of fun. I'm learning so much um, new stuff from from one um we he was help, he's helping me with shoes stuff i had no idea about and just other things like that so i'm really excited to have him another set of eyes helping me out and getting excited about finding stuff at garage sales too all right i appreciate you all coming and leave me a comment if you're watching later and i'll talk to you on the next one thanks everyone bye